hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial in today's video we are going to take our discussion forward related to basic elementary signals that are used in the analysis of uh, signals and systems so today's topic of discussion is the triangular pulse function okay so we are going to discuss about the triangular pulse function so the triangular pulse function is uh, represented as this okay this is the symbol for triangle t by tau which is equal to 1 minus T by tau okay for tau okay and zero otherwise means everywhere else it is zero this is the mathematical representation of the triangular pulse function okay so again in the rectangular pulse function also i uh, described in detail about the meaning of this okay this modulus of t what it means is that it is equal to minus t for t lesser than 0 and t for t greater than 0. So, it means this modulus of t lesser than tau what it means? It means that it is minus t lesser than tau ok minus t lesser than tau for t lesser than 0 and t lesser than tau for t greater than 0 this means that this can be alternatively written as this minus t lesser than tau can be alternatively written as t greater than minus tau it can also be written as this ok t greater than minus tau because when we negate a particular side the symbol the greater than equals to lesser than and the lesser than uh, changes to greater than ok that's simple mathematics so this is what is the meaning of this now let us see at the waveform this representation of the triangular pulse function the shape of the triangular pulse function now let us look at the shape of the triangular pulse function okay so first let us draw the time axis okay this is the time axis now the magnitude okay so the triangular pulse function so we can write this as 1 minus minus t by tau ok 1 minus minus t by tau for t minus tau lesser than minus t lesser than tau ok this we can write it as this because for t lesser than 0 it is magnitude of t is lesser than tau isn't it for this for t lesser than 0 and it is 1 minus t by tau for t lesser than tau okay you understand isn't it for t lesser than 0 
okay for t lesser than 0 it is 1 minus minus t by tau okay which I just made you understand this the, rep, the meaning of this the meaning of this is it is t for t greater than 0 and minus t for t lesser than 0. So, this will be the delta t by tau the delta t by tau it will be this 1 minus minus t by tau for minus t lesser than tau okay minus t lesser than tau or we can say t greater than minus tau and minus 1 minus t by tau for t lesser than tau. So, let us first plot minus tau and tau minus tau let it be here and tau here and 0 here. So, this will be one uh, area and this will be one area from minus tau to 0 and from 0 to tau. So, let us first determine what will be the value at t equals to 0. So, at t equals to 0, if we put t equals to 0 here, it will be 1 minus 0 by tau, here also 1 minus 0 by tau. So, the value will be 1. At t equals to 0, the value will be 1. The value is 1 because at t equals to 0, it is 1 minus 0 by tau, which is equal to 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. So, at t equals to 0, this is 1. Okay, at t equals to 0, this is 1. Now, let us plot the value at t equals to minus tau, at t equals to minus tau. So, at t equals to minus tau means this, okay, t greater than minus tau, greater than equal to minus tau. So, that will be 1 minus minus of minus tau by tau which will be c we are putting t as minus tau okay t equals to minus tau at this means in this portion where this equation will come into play because it is lesser than 0 so this will be 1 minus tau minus minus is plus so 1 minus tau by tau which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 so at t equals to minus tau this is 0. Again, let us put the value at t equals to tau, at t equals to tau. So, at t equals to tau means t is greater than 0, t is greater than 0 means this equation will come into play. Now, please understand that this first is applicable for t lesser than 0 and this is applicable for t greater than 0. So, for this portion from 0 to tau this equation will be valid which is 1 minus t by tau. Okay? So, at t equals to tau the value is this is equal to 1 minus tau by tau. Okay? which is equal to again 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. So, again this is 0 here at t equals to tau. Now, we just have to join these points. Okay. This, this, this is the shape of the triangular pulse function. This is the shape of the triangular pulse function. Okay here there is a positive slope okay here there is a positive slope and here there is a negative slope okay so this is how the triangular pulse function looks like so there can be some confusion in this part but again you can rewind the portion Again, I would like to clarify that for t lesser than 0, for t lesser than 0, 1 
minus minus t by tau this equation is applicable for t lesser than 0 okay for t lesser than 0 it means the range from minus tau t lesser than 0 okay this range this equation and for t greater than 0 it is this equation 1 minus t by tau which means 0 is lesser than t is lesser than tau this portion this portion this is for t greater than 0 this is for t lesser than 0 for this portion this equation is applicable for this portion this equation is applicable ok so this is the most important thing to remember and then we gen when we join the points we get this triangular pulse function ok so again this is also an even function because it is symmetrical around the horizontal axis the y axis this is the triangular pulse function ok so this these two points are very important understanding the value of this modulus of t and the remaining things will just be clear by plotting the points first plot the value of this function at t equals to 0 then at t equals to minus tau and tau again another important thing the total width of this signal is tau plus tau which is 2 tau ok total width is tau plus tau is equal to 2 tau so this tau represents half width of the triangular pulse function ok <coughs> Okay, now in uh, some of the textbooks, you can find that the triangular pulse function is represented in this way. Okay, delta t by tau is given as 1 minus 2 delta t, sorry, this is modulus delta t by tau for modulus of t lesser than tau by 2 okay and 0 elsewhere in some books you will find this is also right this is right this is actually the same thing here what we are doing is we are multiplying 2 here and we are dividing 2 in the uh, time axis so in the previous thing what we did it was 1 minus modulus of t by tau and here it was modulus of t is lesser than tau here it is just we are multiplying 2 here and we are dividing 2 in the time axis for the width of the triangular pulse function so this is the same both of both the representations are same they mean the same thing only in this case the waveform the shape there will be change in the width the rep of the triangular function it will be one same thing but here it will be from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 ok in the time axis and this is delta t by tau everything else will remain the same but in the earlier case where we represented it as 1 minus modulus of t by tau it was from minus tau to plus tau here as we multiply 2 the width will from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 you can check if by if we put here 1 minus minus t by tau and we put t is equal to tau by 2 we will get 0 at minus tau by 2 for t lesser than 0 and for t greater than 0 we will get 0 at tau by 2 plus tau by 2 and if we put t equals to 0 also here 1 minus t is equal to 0 we will get 1 at t equals to 0 it means the same thing this is just another way of representing the triangular pulse function which basically conveys the same information ok also this triangular uh, pulse function in, can sometimes be written as tri t 
by tau it also means the triangular pulse function okay this is also the same as this okay so these are some of the basic things associated with the triangular pulse function so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much